Welcome to this module. This is where we're going to put together our YouTube short accounts in YouTube. So if you look at this uh, channel here, this is my channel, my main channel, and I've got my all my branding assets. So I've got the background image here. I've got my image. I've got the subscribe uh, little icon in there and everything is configured the way I want it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you exactly what to do to set up yourself for short. So remember we're doing five different accounts using the five different Gmail emails that we created earlier. So I'm going to go over to here. I'm going to go and log out and I'm going to go and log in on the new details. So new details, JMCL short 001 at Gmail. So I'm going to go and log into that one. Uh, okay, so we're logged in. So what we need to do, go up to the icon at the top and go to where it says YouTube Studio. Click on there. I'm going to get, go and set everything up right now. Okay, so click on continue. Right, so the first thing we need to do is go to where it says customization. Okay, I'm going to click on that. And we're going to go to branding. First thing we need is we need an, uh, an image to upload. One of the good things about this is that you use your desktop, okay, and all my assets are on my desktop, so it makes it easier for me. Okay, so we're going to go and upload an image. So there are several ways you can do an image. Well, let me show you this. Let me just show you my my actual assets. Okay, these are my these are my assets I'm going to use. Whenever you're uploading an image of yourself for social media, okay, make sure it's fairly close up. Don't have an image that's a long way away because people resonate with faces, okay. Um, that is just something that is, is developed with social media and people just love faces, okay. So what you want is a, fa is, is a picture of yourself and ideally get something where you remove the background, okay. And there are two ways you can do this. I'm going to show you two different methods. Number one is my preferred method, which is using Photoshop. And number two is using different software. We're going to use different software for that. So if you look at my, if I go and just put that back on there. So there is my Photoshop, okay, typical image. And if you use Photoshop, you're going to know exactly what to do. Uh, to remove the background, okay. One of the th one of the things that I do use, okay, which is quite good, is something called remove background, remove.bg. And what you need to ensure is if you're going to remove a background, make sure the back. Look at my background here; it's got everything on it. It's like a it's like a Chinese takeaway. It's got <laughs> all sorts of information. And if you try and upload something to remove BG, it's not going to do a particularly good job. So this is why you need something like Photoshop or, or some other thing that you are familiar with. Okay, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to remove image. I'm going to, oh, sorry, upload image. I'm going to go to my... Um, where are we? So I'm going to use this one. Okay, it's got, a, it's got a, the blue image and that blue image is my my branding colors. Okay, we're going to use that for now. That's it. Okay, no messing about. Okay, and it was as simple as that simply because um, the image, the, the background was a simple image as opposed to this. If I uploaded this, okay, it would kind of struggle. So I'm going to do, we're going to download, don't load down the, the HD, don't need that. Okay, just download and we'll put it into that. Okay, remove BG preview. We'll save it. We'll come back to our custom art or customization. We'll go to upload and we'll upload that particular image. Remember if you're, okay, that's it. If you're gonna do it in Photoshop, make sure you save it as a PNG. Okay, and that, that'll save you, that'll, that'll keep the transparency. So banner image, that's the next thing we need to do. Okay, so we need to make sure the banner image is 2048 by 1152. Okay, now again, what I what I do with this, um, the way I did mine, was I did it on on Photoshop, okay, and uh, I've got all the all the information there, and what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to make this available. So if you do use Photoshop, you've got this in the dimensions that we can use it for. So if you if you're a Photoshop user, then you've you've got access to that as well. However, one of the things that people use is 
So let me drag this on. So this is Canva. <clears throat> I'm a bit more old school. I, I like the old school way of doing things, but I have used Canva in the past and Canva is very good. Okay, so what you're gonna do is go to Canva. If you haven't got um, an account, go and get yourself an account um, at canva.com. Go and put in YouTube, okay? And what you're gonna want is you're gonna want the YouTube. In fact, we'll put YouTube banner. So what we're looking for is the, the banner with the dimensions 2048 by 1152. In fact, it'll, it'll do it slightly bigger than that, okay? Um, so what we're gonna be doing is scroll into something that we want. And what we were looking for, <clears throat> if you look at this, this is a really big image, it's all over the screen. It's not gonna fit into the dimensions of the banner with YouTube Shorts. So we need something that is kind of um, in proportion. So we want something that is kind of in the center, quite small, in the center, nothing too elaborate. So what I've done, um, I've, put, I've found a really nice one that I like. I'm going to use this. Okay, I'm going to use this one. And again, I'm going to make this available to you as a template if, if that's the sort of thing you like. Okay, I'm going to show you how to customize it. So essentially with the, uh, the images, we're going to go and upload an image. Click upload files. We're going to upload the file that we just created on background. I'm going to go and use that. Okay, so clearly it's too big, so we'll just change it. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to go and change this font, this text and the font as well. So I'm gonna stretch it all the way across. Okay, I'm gonna change the change the font. So I'm gonna to go to, to font styles. Okay, I'm gonna change it to inter, because that's my that's my choice. Okay, inter. I'm gonna put that onto there and also bold it okay so there we go that's nice and reduce the size of the text so it kind of fits what we want to say so we'll start with something like that so helping you Still a little bit big. There we go, that's not too bad. Uh, do we want these? Do we want this? No, we'll get rid of these. You can put those on if you want, you know, you can put like a subscribe if you want to put on there, but we're not going to do it for the for the purpose of this. Okay, so helping you build your online business. Uh, let's see if we can duplicate that. Yes, we can. Excellent. Practical um, coaching. We'll take that off bold. We'll make that a bit smaller. We'll put that in the center. There we go. We'll put that one in the center as well. Excellent. There we go. So whenever you've got um, anything like this, what you want to be doing is also, if you look at the position of my of my face, it's in the wrong position. It's facing away from something. So whenever you do anything in marketing, you either want to be looking at what you want people to look at or pointing to it. Okay, so that's why people used to do a lot of pointing things. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on there. And I'm gonna to go to flip and flip horizontal. There we go. Okay, and maybe the positioning could just do with being a bit better. There we go. That's not too bad. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. So you can do all all kinds of things with this. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna put it slightly. There we go. That's better. That's it. That's better. So yeah, you can put different things on there. You can put like you subscribe or you know um, videos up updated or videos uploaded daily or anything like that. Okay, but we'll go for that for now. Okay, so we're going to go and it's all been saved and we're going to go and download it. So 
So we'll just click on click on share, click on download. Uh, we're going to download it to PNG. Uh, we're going to download it there. So when that's downloaded, we're going to put it in the same file as all the other files, so we know where they are. Here it is. Looks the same one. Excellent. Okay, save. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our YouTube and we're going to go and upload it and see if it works. Okay, because it, it may or may not fit. So we've got viewable, viewable on all devices, viewable on desktop, viewable on TV. Okay, now that's that works a treat. It's absolutely in line with with what we want to be doing. So whenever somebody views that on a phone or a desktop or wherever they can view it, they're going to be able to see all the information. Um, in fact, what we could do, we could even put my my face a little bit further along. Okay put this text somewhere else and put just put add some other assets in there but that for now that's good we're going to go with that okay we're going to click done we like it okay the next thing as i've shown you we've got the video watermark which comes up and you can have this in wherever you want it okay in your video so we're going to go and click on upload and this is what i've got there we've got this subscribe this subscribe link there i'm going to open that i'm going to click on done that's all right and that's what you get at the bottom there so we're going to use that so we can either have it at the end of the video so it shows up at the end to get people to subscribe um, a custom start time or the entire video what I tend to do is I tend to have it on the entire video all right so we're going to uh, use that and we're going to go and click on publish okay so once we've got all the branding assets done now what we need to do we need to go back to where it says basic info and this is where we're going to put a lot of the information to get found on the search engines or certainly to get found in YouTube First thing you want to do, make sure your name is your name. So make sure it's branded to you in the way that I've shown you in the previous modules. On the handle, okay, you can change this to whatever you want. I mean, really, in terms of what we're doing, we're going to get found. We're not really um, using this as our main channel. Our main channel is what we want for the main handle. So you can you can maybe work on this. Maybe think about something that's you know cool for you. Maybe John McLaughlin Shorts or or affiliate marketing or whatever you want to put in there but just make it you know short and to the point next thing is to add the description so in terms of a description what I've done I've put a description together and it's a basic description but essentially what you want to be doing is you want to be adding in those keywords so remember doing a bit of keyword research finding out what people are looking for in terms of what we're doing and what we're doing with this channel is affiliate marketing um, so we've got a little bit of a, a spiel here and then obviously what you'll find on my channel and then what I've got in there is, is certain keywords that are, you know, are going to get found. Then on there is for more information how to visit online, visit the website below and this is going to be your number three domain. Okay, so if I show you um, this, okay, not that one. If I show you this one, okay, remember YouTube Shorts is going to have another domain on it. Remember that domain needs to be purchased and also configured with Cloudflare in the same way that we did with Instagram and TikTok. So add that domain to that description. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna copy all this. I'm gonna go to the description, right click and paste all that in. So that pastes it all in from there. Okay, brilliant. Next thing is add a link, okay? So you can add the the link title, which can be, um, you don't want anything too spammy in there either. You want, you know, dependent on your audience and dependent on you, and again, dependent on your brand, you know, six figure earner. Maybe we could have done that a few years ago, but right now it just seems to be a, a little bit too extreme. But if that fits your brand, then fine, go and put that on there. But um, I'm gonna put, um, and it depends where you've configured it as well so let's say um, we've configured it to go to the HBA sales page again we want to make it congruent so we want to make this link title congruent with what they're going to see so what they're going to see is a video from Paul talking about HBA um, in this case so um, click for free Click for free video okay we can do something like that and then the the url that we're going to put in there is the url that we're going to configure with youtube as i've just mentioned and again it, it needs configuring with um with cloudflare but we're going to put um we'll put that in for now 
okay and we can put our email address in there if we want to but i don't really think we want to because remember if we've got multiple accounts if we get people you know sending us emails we, we won't reply and obviously people are going to think we're not interested so we'll leave that off okay and then we'll click on publish right so what we have right now if we go to the layout okay the layout that we want we don't want videos on there so we don't all we need now is the shorts because all we're using this channel for is YouTube shorts so when I go to there we'll remove that section and yes you can put the channel trailers on there um, for people who haven't subscribed and videos for people who have subscribed but what I would do personally I would leave that off because really all you want to do is to get people to watch your video shorts to then look at your link to then go to the the assets that we've configured with a, with a domain name so there we go essentially that is the first channel done so that's one of five so all you need to do is repeat the process for all five accounts all five gmail accounts and remember as soon as we've got a gmail account then automatically we've got a youtube account so it's really simple and straightforward what i would do personally in terms of the branding i would probably change up i mean if you're happy um having the same kind of uh, background or the same banner image for each one then fine do that um, if if you found doing the banner took you a bit of time and it was a bit of a pain and you you come over to um to this one you go oh, it took so long to do and now john wants me to do five just do one okay the main the main thing about this is getting everything done getting everything live and then at late some later date you can come back and change it okay there's no there's no problem with that you can come back and change it but just get things out there get things done but configure it in the right way okay so yeah you can do all sorts of things you can change this you can put background images on there um, if you're looking for somewhere to get images remember they need to be royalty free so I use um, either pixels or Pixabay um, and you can do that let me just go and show you quickly so something like pix if I put P yeah, it's already in there like Pixabay um, you may need an account uh, to get to, to download it but essentially, if you're looking for something like, I don't know, background. Background image. Okay. And again, you can scroll through these. You can use these. And this is what I definitely recommend. Never go on to something like Google Images and go, well, it's okay. It's going on Google. Okay, I'm going to download that. Never do that because, you know, you're going to fuck. This is what I said previously about being either having ownership of everything that you do or using things that are licensed that you can actually legally use it so make sure for goodness sake you can you can legally use things because there's nothing worse than getting a, a cease and desist or getting your accounts closed down for something so minor or what you think is so minor so yeah you can use any of these just just click any click anything download it okay then you can upload it to um, your Canva and just experiment and just do whatever you want to do but remember the main thing with all your social media accounts is that you want to be making the message congruent okay in the same way that I said about in the email uh, module everything wants to be congruent and everything wants to be streamlined so your your clients your prospects the people that are looking at your videos have a nice clean experience and that's where we're going with it okay so by now you've got your first account done all you need to do is work through to get all five accounts done configured exactly in the same way and then you're ready to move on to the next module i'll see you there